What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy and this is a little bit different video than what you're used to seeing on this channel. I'm going to talk to my really good friend Rich Reinert um, about the Wausau. I always call it the Wausau Muskie Expo, but it's the Wisconsin Muskie Expo. It's held in Wausau right on the edge of northern Wisconsin, the Northwoods where uh, Muskie is king. So we're just going to go and do a little rundown of some of the manufacturers you might find there, the background of the show, because Rich is one of the men that started this thing. So I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Rich Reinert, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the Wisconsin Muskie Expo. Well, you know, how you doing, Brian? Yeah, it's great. Good, man. <laughs> I'm glad we finally got this <laughs> thing you working. Know, this is crazy that we're doing this because you couldn't do this, you know, 25 years ago, you know, now we're Right? Nope. And I, I, you can tell how tech savvy I am. Actually, I am like old school with a big <laughs> capital zero or O. And so this is pretty <laughs> crazy for me. But thank God for Penny. She was able to put this together, you know. So anyways, <laughs> yep, the Wausau Muskie, Wisconsin Muskie Expo is uh, coming up March 17th. The doors open up at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, you know, and of course, uh, it runs all the way through Sunday till three o'clock. So, um, that was March 17th through the 19th. You made a comment before about, you know, starting the expo. We started this expo back in 2012 and I started it because I wanted to give, you know, some people a platform that otherwise wasn't getting in other shows, you know, guys that I felt were sure. truly good musky people, but they didn't necessarily have, a, you know, they weren't in the magazines per se. Okay. And yeah. but yet they were yep. as good, if not better musky fishermen and guides. So that's kind of what started this whole thing. And uh, so here we are 13 years later. Uh, I think I got those at you know, that time, 2012, but we're here and 13 years later, it's going, it's getting bigger and better than ever. We also kind of keep it, you know, we want to, don't, we don't want to get so big, you know, that, you know, that, you know, that guys can't see it and spend some time talking with people. We don't want to dilute it. So it, we have it a certain size on purpose. We've got 85 vendors, you know, at the show. So, um, yeah, you know, amazing. you've been there, that's Brian. What do you think? Of and, you show? know, I was just. Oh, it's amazing. Well, it's it's one of the first shows uh, that Rick and I ever did before we were Chaos Tackle. We were Esox Assault. And I was just going to tell a quick story about being at the Chicago Muskie Expo, probably back in 2011. It was the first time Rick and I had been in a show. And here we are not really knowing what in the world we're doing trying to sell our bucktails and here this this crazy wild guy comes up and just starts talking to us <laughs> and and basically uh sells us on uh trying to get baits in every bait shop in northern wisconsin and we're going to do this that and the other thing and and uh it was it was you uh spoiler alert but <laughs> um you know so i i credit you with you were one of the first people that actually came up and talked to us and, and showed us a little bit of uh, respect and, and kind of made us feel like we were sort of doing, uh, doing the right thing. So uh, I, I don't know if I've ever told you that, but I really do appreciate that. And then uh, being able to come up to that, that Wisconsin Muskie Expo in Wausau um, in, you know, the heart of Muskie country, you know, cause all these other Muskie Expos are, you know, sort of big metropolitan areas, Milwaukee, Chicago. I mean, that's where all the people are, but to have it, on the doorstep of, of Northern Wisconsin where everybody seems to go to go musky fishing is, is kind of a really neat place to have it. Well, that's why we did it there. There was a lot of people, when you look at the demographics, a lot of where these musky fishermen live, there are a lot of musky fishermen in the cities. There's going to be, there's more population, but I think what really, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of people in central and Northern Wisconsin, the UP, they don't want to drive to the city. So it was kind of, you know, when you look at Wausau, it was a central location. You got major roads, you know, highways running through there. It's easy to get to. We've got people that come, we, you know, for like three years, we actually did, you know, we, we had like a questionnaire and it was simple. 
we asked, you know, three mm -hmm. questions. One, where are you from? Two, how did you hear about the show? And three, do you want to be on our digital newsletter? And they were easy questions. So we learned a lot about advertising to let people know we were out there. We also learned a lot about where the people came from. And not only did we have people that were coming from all over northern Wisconsin, the UP, uh, central Wisconsin, so let's say a hundred mile radius, but we had people coming from mm -hmm. Madison, Milwaukee, the northwest suburbs of Chicago, and they were making a weekend out of it. Right now, presently, right now, today, there's three hotels booked solid from people that are, are you know, coming wow. up to the show and other things, I'm sure. But there's a lot of people and they make a weekend of this. So, you know, it's sure. a it's a down home. It's a homey kind of show. Uh, there's it's really not corporate. It's just a very laid back, you know, good time. And you've been there. You you know what it is. I mean, I think everybody that comes there has a good time. Yeah. And to your point, I, I see a lot of families showing up and they've got their three day passes and you see them every day. Oh yeah. And you know, they just enjoy walking around. And even if they've been past the booth five or six times, you know, maybe at that point they're not shopping, but they're talking to guides or they're maybe trying to book a trip or they're just talking to manufacturers. I can't tell you how many awesome conversations I've had with people. Um, just because they wanted to come into the chaos tackle booth and and talk to one of us about baits or or whatever, so uh, it's it is it has a really nice down home feel, like you said to it. And um, I think anybody that has the chance to come to this that hasn't yet definitely needs to come check it out because uh, again, as you mentioned, you know you've got some of your smaller bait makers, some of your more you know, maybe people call them a boutique bait maker, just your small you know basement bait maker type of guys and it's it's cool to see some of the some of the paint jobs that these guys can come up with some of these guys are just amazing artists and some of the baits are just interesting as all get out and it's really cool to see that side of it well hey you'll see no if you move that mic up i can probably you know, i mean i can hear you now can now talk once there we go. All right, how's that? There we go. We got it. You know, I can hear you definitely better. But, you know, here's the thing. You know, one of the things that we do, I mentioned before about the speakers, but even the booths. When you look at most of the menu, you know, the most of the people that we have booth wise there, we have a lot of small batch manufacturers that come to the show. At the same mm -hmm. time, we have still some of the bigger companies you know, within the musky, you know, industry there. I mean, look at Suic. Suic's been around for, you know, four generations and they've got a pretty big booth. They're very, you know, they, they're they commanding uh, Chaos Tackle, you know. Uh, everybody is familiar with Chaos. You guys, you were a big part of Chaos yep. Tackle. It started out as East Sox Assault, you know, Tackle, which was your bucktails that you mentioned. At the same time, I mean, it grew to yep. be one of the largest, you know, musky bait, companies in the industry as well as probably what i feel you know let's face it you've got mass produced rods and you've got custom made rods and chaos tackle as far as i'm concerned is building probably the best mass produced rod musky rod on the market today and it definitely shows because sure. i think everybody's using them I mean, you can definitely see by the sales that they're definitely the king. And uh, the rods are lightweight, uh, they're durable, they're strong, and the customer service is second to none. And I, that's something I think your father-in-law, Rick, you know, really emphasized is, you know, customer service. He took care yeah. of people. And Vince is just picking up and going to the next level. You know, you know, Vince is the new owner and, uh, you know, Vince DiMarty, yep. and he, he's a great guy. You know, he's just a he's just a central Wisconsin redneck who's, you know, got, you know, some, you yep. know, oh, he's yeah. got some noodles in his head, you know, <laughs> and uh, he, he's, he's smart as a whip. But, but he's a great guy and, and he really does care. And so the company is, you know, doing well. But, um, you know, at the same time with the retailers. You know, we don't have, per se, the musky shops at the show, but we've got, you know, like Ross's Sports Shop. We've got Taps and Tackle out of mm -hmm. Stevens Point. 
uh, they put on a great spread of not only rods and reels and, and musky baits, your standard musky baits, but terminal tackle as well as, you know, tools for releasing fish, that type of stuff. Clothing, you know, they got plenty of clothing. Yep. And then you've got Team Rhino. And batteries too. They're, they're a distributor for, uh, um, oh, it, it escapes me, the, the lithium yes. batteries. Yes, Taps uh, and Tackle have, it carries, uh, yeah. you, know, the, you know, the lithium batteries. And I'm actually, after seeing, you know, you know how these work and everything. Yeah, they're expensive, but I'll tell you, I think they're well worth the money. And I know I'm going to put a set of three. Sure. I'm saving my money to put three in my boat, and that's who I'm going to go through as taps and tackle. They're very knowledgeable. They're just good guys, and, and they fish. They understand. Yeah. Um, then, of course, everybody's familiar with Team Rhino, and then Team Rhino's there. So, you know, we've got a nice spread of retailers this year. Uh, we've got a retailer that's going to join us. Um, it's uh, Last Cast Outfitters. Uh, owner is Pete Stoltman okay. up in St. Germain. But the reason he's coming, he's bringing a full display of red October tubes. And and those oh, cool. are hard to find in our area. So, you know, it's just, sure. um, uh, you know, I mentioned the smaller companies, you know, before, you know, a lot of guys, you know, on Facebook know Indian Creek Bucktail, Marabou Tails. You know, he's there. I mean, you've got mm-hmm. Musky Madness. I mean, um, you know, the, there's a guy coming up. Uh, he manufactures a bait called a Counter Punch. And it's a cross between a spy bait as well as a tail spinner. And I can tell you the bait has been very mm-hmm. effective. And so, okay. you know, baits like that... Um, uh, there's just so many small bait manufacturers. Tom's Custom Musky Baits. Uh, a lot of guys saw on Facebook. I, I posted a, here you got a guy, 70 years old. Now get this. Wouldn't you agree that most people know, they they, they know who's who in the musky industry? Oh, yeah. Small yeah, industry, it's, it's but small. yet it I mean, seems big. Uh, but then you got a guy it, like Tom Harrison that comes out of the woodwork, 70 years old, and he's just as unassuming i mean this dude's an he's a he's a musky guru i mean this guy's got 50 sure. 52 and 54 inch fish from in wisconsin he doesn't fish in canada he doesn't fish in minnesota mm-hmm. he fishes in wisconsin and i think his biggest fish is a 54 incher he's got several 52 inchers i mean last year i think he had six 50 inchers last year in wisconsin and the thing of it is, wow, all those fish were caught on his musky baits that he makes. And I finally talked him into coming mm-hmm. to the show. And so his baits are cool. going to be available to everybody, you know. And I think he's yeah, excited. No, he's never done this. He's not tech savvy. But he's one of the – he's the typical small batch manufacturer. Um, I'm burning eights. We talked about jig fishing for muskies. We'll have to do that sometime. Um mm-hmm. And the man that makes my jigs is coming from Colorado. He has a booth set up, you know, at the Wisconsin Muskie Expo so people can, you know, you know, check out his jigs. So we there's just so many companies here, you know, it's it's oh, yeah. well, I was gonna say, um people need to come to check that out because it's, it's really cool seeing those small manufacturers, but I was going to have you talk a little bit about what you have lined up for uh, speakers. speakers at the well, show. You know, again, like I said, I, I try to get the guides, you know, I like to have guides because those are the, those are the guys that know what's going on in the water day to day. You know, we're going to start out Friday with Dan uh, Gropen, you know, geyser and, uh, Everybody knows Dan. He's, he's a he's a fantastic guide out of Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Um, he's going to open up uh, Friday. Phil uh, Stadola, Joel McClung, and Zach Stadler, they're going to be there uh, to, with a Green Bay panel. The, the one guy that's going to close out Friday night is going to be Brian Klein. And, you know, I've seen oh. some of Brian Klein's posts, but I'm starting to find out from a lot of people that he's the man. He is like the dude. He is the man. <laughs> you know, I mean, you probably know more about him than I do, but I, we got him coming in, and he's, I call him the nomadic musky guide because if he's not fishing in Green oh, yeah. Bay, he's fishing in Utah for tigers, I mean, or wherever he goes. He yep. just travels around 
and he's got muskies pinned down through the year of where he's going fishing. And I hear he's quite the man. And so I'm kind of anxious to meet him and to hear him talk. Yep. Because I hear he's, he's yeah, the man. BJK. So, he's, then he's you awesome. got he's a on good Saturday, leader. you've got Steve Jonasy. He's coming in from Iowa. And for guys that have really got yep. the, you know, the chirpies for fishing muskies, you know, right away in the season, man, they're fishing muskies in March. I talked to a guy from Nebraska that really wanted to come, but instead of coming, he's going out to some reservoir out there in Nebraska, and they're going to be fishing muskies out there. But the fact of it is Steve Jonas is going to be here talking about Iowa muskies. Then you got Dan Donovan, and I think a lot of people in Wisconsin are familiar with Dan. He owns a Muskie Fool Fly uh, Company, Musky Fool Fly Company. They're out of Wanakee, uh, Wisconsin. And I'm going to tell you, if you want to learn something about fly fishing, which is becoming a bigger deal in Wisconsin these days, and there's a lot of fish being caught on it, Dan and his crew, his staff of guides, they've got it going on. So I think a lot of guys are going to be, you sure. know, are going to want to take that seminar. And, and then at two o'clock, I'm gonna ta-da, I get the, I'm gonna talk at two o'clock. A lot of people <laughs> ask me why, and I it's more than Mike Etzel keeps telling me that people want to hear me jabber, and and uh, so I'm gonna yep. do that. And then at four, we got uh, Joel Walzak, and we've got uh, Aaron Stack, Craig Ad- Adder, and Brian Merrick coming from Southern Wisconsin, giving people ideas of what to do for the opener which Southern Wisconsin opens up first, okay? Sunday is going to be a very cool day. We've got Nate Osfar opening up the show, you know, for seminars. And for those people that don't know who Nate Osfar is, he's probably one of the most successful tournament muskie fishermen, probably in the Midwest, I would say. Would you agree with that? Or I would say so. Yep. I would agree 100%. Super guy. And he's, he's, he's very knowledgeable. Yep. He's kind of like they call, I would say he's like Merrill Lynch. You know, when he talks, the guys that know who he is, they listen because he's got a lot to they contribute. Listen. Oh yeah. Uh, and then, then at the at 12 <laughs> o'clock, we've got, uh, we've got uh, Mike Keys. And uh, I'm going to tell you, cool. television wise, I think Mike has probably got one of the finest musky shows I've ever seen. Um, he tells it like it is. He doesn't pull any punches. Um, if they catch a 30 incher, he gets excited about it. He enjoy, you know, I mean, people don't yeah. realize how hard you work sometimes to catch just a small fish on certain days, but you know, well, and, and I've, I've, I've talked to Mike about this before. And I mean, his show is the reason that I'm doing what I'm doing with, my silly little YouTube channel. You know, I, I was watching him and I was, I was more concerned about how he had his cameras set up in the boat. And I, I really tried to start figuring out how to put all the, this together. And, and Mike keys was, was a, a big part of that. Well, <laughs> so that's, uh, that's very cool. That he's going to be there. Uh, talking. The real deal. Mike, as far as I'm concerned, he's the real deal. And, you know, you mentioned, you know, how you paid attention to him, you know, what kudos to you because, you know, Listen, I'm not a tech savvy person, as you found out. You know, thank God for Penny being here to hook this, <laughs> this jig this stuff up, you know. But here's the deal. You know, I know enough. I got a I got a 65 inch TV in my living room, and I get to watch you guys in full size, you know, on that TV. And, yep. you know, I'm not saying that all these YouTubes are bad because somebody's got to start somewhere, but. I think there's some that we could, that just don't need to be there. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying, I mean, people can do as they want, but when I look at YouTube's, sure. you know, you, the YouTube shows that you guys are doing your show, I, I love your show because you're not just sticking in one place. You know, you're moving around to, you know, you're going to Ohio, you're going to Kentucky or you're going to Michigan, you're, you're going to small streams in, you know, northern Wisconsin. You're going to Canada. You're doing what a lot of guys would love to do in the course of a year. So they, through you, they live through some of these bucket, you know, bucket list spots 
or, you know, spots they want to sure. go on vacation so they can live through that with you. You've got a great show, and I think it shows with your numbers the way they're growing. You know, Smith's Fishing Outdoors, Little well, Fisher Smith, that. he does a great job. It's kind of cool to mm-hmm. watch him grow up, and I've seen him grow up a lot, you know, in the course of the last few yep. years. Um, you know, you know, Burning Eights is another show. They've got, you know, where they stick to northern Wisconsin, central Wisconsin, and they're just good old boys, and they're out there, and they're fishing, and – they're showing you the, they're showing you the the real deal of what musky fishing is, and and they started because they wanted to learn from their, you know, from their videos, and then of course you got today's angler. Oh yeah, those I think are really the main ones. I mean, I think those maybe I'm wrong, but those are the strongest out there. Then you got kids coming up like Caleb Sorensen with shoreline anglers. Kid can't afford a boat, but he's out there yeah. fishing offshore and catching giant muskies. I mean. There's some good YouTube videos yep. out there and guys can learn a lot and you guys are putting fish in a boat. So, I, you know, here's what I do understand. A lot of those guys come to you because you seem to have this figured out. I think they call you Professor Scaife, you know. I've heard that huh? before. I don't, I don't know if I've really earned it, but yeah, I've heard it before. but you do a really great <laughs> job. So, you know, it just um, – if you need an assistant, I think Penny's looking for a job, you know, because, you know, between you guys, well, you seem to get this all figured out. And, you know, and so anyways, the last guy on Sunday is Corey Olson. And I think you know who Corey Olson is. I've fished with Corey a couple times. We've got some really cool shoots that we did uh uh, doing some river fishing with Corey in his jet boat, and I just had a blast. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, seeing Corey and talking to him well, a little bit again. Corey, too. you know what? He's not, you know, some, you know, he's not some big name guy. But I'm gonna tell you, he's as good as, as and you can, I think, attest to this. He's a pretty darn good fisherman. Oh yeah. And he's a good guide, and I think he Absolutely. takes real well care of his customers. And he, you know, he's uh, he's into making baits, as you well know. And you know, so. We've got a good lineup of speakers. We've got, you know, a lot of good companies, small batch manufacturers at the Wisconsin Muskie Expo with a mix of some of the bigger companies. Um, There's going to be some new product there that, you know, that's going to, you know, come about that hasn't been at the rest of the shows. Uh, Lake X, Lake X Lures, I think this is the only show that Lake X is going to this year. He'll be there, John Kleszewski and and his crew of guys and uh, in a full setup. But uh, I don't know. The show has turned into, I think, uh, I, I think it's matured and it's, it's got a, you know, it's got a good mm-hmm. feel to it. It looks good and we're not going to fix what ain't broke. Perfect. Well, you know what? I think we're going to go out on that because I've got to get ready to go to Ohio I know, tomorrow. you musky max. <laughs> and I, that's right. Yep, Aren't you I'm going to go fishing the, uh, before you Max go to Muskie show? Max? Uh, before and after, hopefully. So you're going to leave uh, depending Vince on what Mother and, Nature and, throws and Trevor at us. to set up the booth, and you're going to stroll in after, kept, uh, after after catching a few fish. That's the plan. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, again, it's March 17th through the 19th, and uh, I hope uh, people have some time to, or can make some time to come out and visit us that weekend at Wisconsin Muskie Expo. Perfect. All right. And I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description below of this video. And if somebody wants to go to the website, they can go check everything out uh, by doing that. So uh, I think with that, uh, Rich, my friend, I really do appreciate you uh, putting up with this and getting this thing figured out. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing you in person. And uh, I guess uh, for a couple weeks here from uh, when we're recording this, but hopefully a week from when people are yeah, actually seeing. Yeah, I'm going to see. Are you coming the 15th for setup? I'm um, I'm probably going to come All right, Friday. Well, that's good. I'll be there. I will I'll be, be there the last Friday, minute guy. and we'll definitely see each other. How's that? Okay. I very much look forward to it, buddy. All right. Thanks, Rich. All right, everybody. I appreciate every single one of you watching this, and I'll see you on the next video.